Hello everyone. Today, we will be discussing cerebrospinal fluid, CSF, circulation. Its pathway and function. Now, the question arises. What exactly is cerebrospinal fluid? CSF is a clear, colorless fluid that surrounds the brain and spinal cord. It provides protection, buoyancy, and waste removal, while also helping to maintain brain homeostasis, cushion the brain against injury, remove metabolic waste, and regulate intracranial pressure. Difference between CSF and plasma Cerebrospinal fluid is often described as an ultrafiltrate of plasma, but to be more precise, it is actively secreted by the choroid plexus, rather than simply being an ultrafiltrate. While CSF shares some similarities with plasma, there are distinct differences in composition. Lower protein concentration in CSF than in plasma. Fewer cells, normally, CSF is nearly cell-free. Different ion concentrations, CSF has more chloride, but less potassium and calcium than plasma. CSF pathway and circulation. Cerebrospinal fluid follows a specific circulation pattern. It begins in the ventricles of the brain. It passes through the cerebral aqueduct and enters the subarachnoid space. Finally, it is reabsorbed into the venous system through arachnoid granulations. Production of CSF CSF is primarily produced by the choroid plexus, a specialized structure located within the lateral, third, and fourth ventricles of the brain. The total CSF volume in adults is estimated to be 150 milliliters at any given time. However, the choroid plexus produces between 400 and 600 milliliters of CSF per day, meaning CSF is continuously produced and replaced multiple times daily. Now, the question arises, what exactly is the choroid plexus? The choroid plexus is a specialized structure found within the ventricles of the brain. It consists of Fenestrated capillaries, allowing plasma components to pass through. Loose connective tissue, which provides structural support. A single layer of cuboidal epithelial cells, choroidal epithelium, forming a selective barrier, and actively secreting CSF. These epithelial cells are linked by tight junctions, ensuring that CSF composition remains distinct from plasma. What are the ventricles of the brain? The ventricles of the brain are four interconnected, fluid-filled cavities that produce and store cerebrospinal fluid, cushioning and protecting the brain. Embryologically, the ventricular system is derived from the lumen of the neural tube. It consists of four ventricles. Two lateral ventricles, one in each cerebral hemisphere. The third ventricle, located in the diencephalon, between the two halves of the thalamus. The fourth ventricle, located in the hindbrain, between the pons, medulla, and cerebellum. CSF flows through these ventricles and into the subarachnoid space, where it circulates around the brain and spinal cord before being reabsorbed into the bloodstream. Flow of CSF through the ventricles. Now, let's talk about the flow of CSF through the ventricles. It follows a specific direction, CSF is first formed in the lateral ventricles. It then flows into the third ventricle through the interventricular foramina, foramina of Monroe. From the third ventricle, it moves downward through the cerebral aqueduct, aqueduct of Sylvius, into the fourth ventricle. Entry into the subarachnoid space. From the fourth ventricle, CSF exits through three openings. The median aperture, foramen of Magendi. The lateral apertures, foramina of Lushka. At this point, it enters the subarachnoid space, which surrounds the brain and spinal cord. This space allows CSF to circulate, providing cushioning and protection. Circulation and reabsorption. CSF circulates within the subarachnoid space, where it plays a vital role in removing metabolic waste, maintaining intracranial pressure. Eventually, CSF is reabsorbed into the venous bloodstream through arachnoid granulations, arachnoid villi. These granulations protrude into the dural venous sinuses, primarily draining CSF into the superior sagittal sinus. This reabsorption process is driven by a pressure gradient, where CSF pressure in the subarachnoid space is higher than in the venous sinuses, 
allowing passive flow through the granulations into the bloodstream. Conclusion To summarize, CSF is continuously produced, circulates through the ventricles, and is reabsorbed into the bloodstream. It plays a critical role in protecting the brain, maintaining homeostasis, and removing waste. And with that, we conclude our discussion on cerebrospinal fluid circulation. Thank you all for your time. I hope this presentation has helped deepen your understanding of CSF and its circulation in the brain.